Hey guys, so since you enjoyed the video so much last time, we decided to bring on a special guest for this one. Yeah, Say look, hi. we said, we, we said, uh, uh, we should have got Garth. I am by far the most super special guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we get his expertise He's... on modern warfare with fantasy races. Although I will, I will call bullshit before we even start. The Garbo is a big centaur fan. He has horses. <laughs> He's gonna be like, oh no, but horses are totally I'm usable. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Like, see, <laughs> I, I knew for a fact y'all gonna bring that shit up too. Yeah. Like, if we were yeah. only five seconds in. Like, like, I, like, no, but to be fair, I did see one point someone said in the comments about uh, centaurs. Now they wouldn't be good for military use, but they would be excellent for police. See, uh, well, yeah. you know, I, you know, we'll get there when we get there because you guys right. are probably already know I'm, I'm very opinionated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, so like, let's just get into this. We're gonna go just down the player's handbook, alphabetical order. Let's do this. So first up, Dragonborn. When it, I don't know. When it comes to Dragonborn, it's more of one of those things where it's more or less a giant lizard. Um, between Dragonborn and regular like lizardmen. Um, well, listen, when you man, go and buy a, a, a reptile for a pet, um, you're always told, well, they need sand or they need high humidity. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like or lizard high, people in yeah. general, you're yeah, high heat, yeah. It seems like they're very specific, like very region specific. So, Dragonborn would be like very region specific shock troop or spec ops. Like, mm -hmm. if you have like a water dragonborn being like an underwater saboteur oh hell yeah go get that fucking submarine you know whatever the hell else but you but unlike an elf or a dwarf or a human you can't take a dragonborn that's that's was made for jungle heat and put them in like you know northern ireland they're gonna fucking die yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know it's melting here at the middle like we have to turn the fan <laughs> off for this video <laughs> yeah. and it's bad like it's fucking bad yeah but I mean, uh, the, the the fact they can use like their breath weapon i mean that's fine but i'll use them as more like spec ops and shock troops than mm. standard line infantry because the same time, say you guys shift your theater from you know Northern Europe to like like mid Africa or like Saharan Africa, mm. if it's not a specific lizard person built for that region, I mean they they run the risk of having infections and scale infections and yeah. if not just fu just fucking dying off like idiots because they can't handle you know Udrek sunlight Ugh, they fucking like. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. Like, somewhere, it, it, <laughs> I saw that. Like someone left a comment on uh, the last video about dry. It said something about dry with the UV lights and flashbangs. <laughs> oh, I thought it was quality. Because um, like, it, yeah, it, 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 it also reminds me of the scene from from from, from Rango where the chameleon is shut on the road and he sheds twice. <laughs> he's like, uh, you know, and because he, he's not made for dry heat but there's yeah. lizards that are in there like that one horn, like the one horny frog who's trying to run the run the hawk with them he's made for that climate but say you take that horny frog and put it in like where that chameleon's supposed to be from the horny frog ain't gonna last like it's so fucking moist with the book he's gonna fucking like mold <laughs> yeah. up i can see that i can definitely next up dwarf i think i dwarf. think honestly like i'm just gonna put it out there i think dwarves are just humans but better yeah. I, I, would, I would say like say you need to go have a tunnel rat you eat a dwarf you know dwarfs yeah. are like the the omni fists of the humanoid races i mean yeah. they're short so they, they'll do well i mean they're hard to like say you're in like a, he a heavy brush scenario they're so fucking short they can be yeah. hidden a lot easier if, if a dwarf goes to ground and tries to find cover really you only got to hide four or five you know three, three or four feet of person so they yeah. just duck <laughs> down i mean they're like say and say getting like CQB with a dwarf. I mean, they're so fucking low to the ground, you can't really toss them. That's what mm. one of the jokes is. I mean, dwarves would be like the Swiss Army knife in terms of like tank, like tank crews, vehicle crews, airborne. Like imagine like a, a dwarf made air, aircraft where it's so low profile because they don't need a lot of height. Mm. Um, I mean, they 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 can go like e even the Veil Riders, dwarves can go with fucking anything. You know, they, the trench warfare or reconnaissance underground warfare tunnel war I mean, they, they can go and do all these things they're, they're in that perfect like height profile where mm. they're just tall enough to not, not, not get kicked by something large and just short enough where they can fit almost anywhere and get cover almost anywhere yeah you know actually this this brings up a good one i was actually just thinking about like you know okay so in the army and whatever it's like you don't have a you, you don't uh, you don't have a particular how you fit like you know the army fits you yeah if that makes any yeah. sense yeah um, you know that i don't know the saying but uh i think whenever i think about this when it comes to like a fantasy setting creating like university or creating like a foundation where it's like okay this is the standard basic uniform 
you couldn't just do that mm. because there's no. too many different there's body many shapes different, yeah. and different races all working in you. Well, then again, it depends. In this fantasy universe, will they be working together? Will it be the dwarves in one team? Will it be the elves well, in the other? Dwarves don't work. Are we going to have like funny. a mix? <laughs> so, are we going to have? Well, you know, if we were going for like, okay, let's let's pretend we're going for like a British Empire. And you know you're taking your people from over there, and you got your people from over there, so you can kind of have like a good mixture. Will we go for that? Well, you can yeah, put it down. We'll we'll, we'll create some, yeah, something yeah. along those lines. But yeah, honestly, when it comes to dwarves, for me, I believe like the strongest human should be like you know a human that's been like you know on the weights bodybuilding for like yeah. five ten years. I believe I that's, that that should adapt. be just a, that should be just a normal dwarf. Yeah, I do think they would adapt <laughs> well in any situation. Mm. Right? But I, I mean, I, logistically, trying to find like all the different uniforms stuff will be a pain in the ass. But yeah. again, this is, a, this is a this is a fantasy land, so you know, so all we know is a giant fucking spider making this shit. So oh yeah, like, oh, or it's like it's just being conjured by thin air. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You don't. Here's your like... shit. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Next up, elves. Elves are a uh, hard one for me. I don't know. It depends. Like, okay, we'll go for D and D elves. You know, so yeah, because because my elves my, sim- my elves are vastly different. So. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> there's the, so many different. <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah, like elves are elves can be all over the show, so we're just I think we'll just kind of stick to D and D elves. You know, that's what you think of. Like you know, we'll just keep to that. Yeah. So plus I mean, two decks, dark vision, keen senses, fans, greatest we and trance. So like you know, okay, they don't have to sleep for that long. Sleep for half the time, and even then, they're not really sleeping. <coughs> that good. That's bound to be handy. You'd be more productive yeah, throughout I mean, the day. Like. Pulling patrol and like watches would be like, but with me, I think elves would get shoved in right alongside humans. They'd be better at certain, like at mm. better thing, at certain yeah, I, things. I do see like elves being like the leaders mainly. Oh, oh they they would that. definitely they, they would, would definitely te- infect the officer corps. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Could yeah. you imagine like an, an elven butter bar? Like, would you just shut the fuck up? <laughs> yeah. There was a there was a good one actually. You know, a lot of people didn't like that movie, but I really enjoyed. Remember that one, Bright? I, I with like Will that. Smith. Bright. Uh, Bright, and bright, we, oh, bl- bright, oh, bright, yeah, yeah, bright. yeah. And I really like the way they did the elves in that. I thought that was a really good twist. Uh-huh. Yeah, all rich uppity, fucking like, snobs. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's be serious, but that's what. But it, that's like, exactly what they would be. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like, I, I, Instagram like, I, would be infested yes, with elves. Yes. I have no doubt that elves would just infect the officer corps like a fucking plague. You know, you you'd be, you'd be hard find to, you'd be hard pressed to find an elven NCO using D and D elves. Like, they'd be <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Captains and majors, and I command an entire battalion. Mm, <laughs> you know, like, give me a break. Yeah, uh, but was... there would be quite good interrogators as well. Well, you everything. know, another good thing: would they be the go-to diplomats? What would be? Uh, a, mm. would, would they be? What would, would be the politician class? What would be the political class? Oh yeah, no, you're time? probably right. It probably would be else. I don't think they would be in the army all that often. I think they would be more politicians. They work the office jobs. Yeah, I think I, if the elves that did join, they'd probably be like Air Force, probably because just how because they have that they they probably, they can sleep while in flight. Like imagine mm. a, ref, a a refueler crew of elves where they can stay they can stay in flight for fucking almost ever. Yeah, you know that would be like, pretty good. Definitely, be like if if there were like 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 hardcore elven soldiers, they'd probably be pilots. Basically, mm. just to be honest. Because yeah. they're going, yeah, air, aircraft eagle fast, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I could definitely see that. All right, next up, gnomes. Fuck gnomes. Skip. <laughs> yeah, fuck gnomes. like honestly, you know the problem is frontline fodder. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> fuck gnomes. I think everything gnomes can do, goblins can do better, and they're more fun, <laughs> and they're, they're way more entertaining. <laughs> um, I think whenever I think of a gnome, I don't think of a D and D gnome ever. I think of leprechauns. I, I no, I think of garden. I, Purely garden, garden gnomes. gnomes. Yeah. Yeah. I purely think hats. of the garden gnomes. Yeah, but I do, you know, I, if I was to create I mean, them... just as useless. I, I would like to imagine them kind of like chihuahuas, where they're always like trembling. Trembling, but pure anger. But no, the anger would be more <laughs> trexy. They would be more... They wouldn't be like, like 70% shaking at you. tremble and like 30% anger. Yeah, something yeah. like that. I I, I I don't see what they could do that a dwarf couldn't do better. Like gnomes, yeah. maybe maybe like logistics, yeah. but that's, I wouldn't see them in a combat role. Because like, um, you see a gnome, oh, cool. Punt, you know, like, what the- <laughs> yeah. yeah, like okay, like, I'm gonna. I, mean, I guess you could pack a whole bunch of fucking gnomes in, 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 into like a paradrop ship or something. But at the same time, the gnome lands. You have you have a gnome. Like I, I, if, if yeah. I was a if, if I was a company commander, like I I got I got, I got a paradrop a. A entire company of dwarves or gnomes. I'm like fucking dwarves. <laughs> yeah, because 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 even say you could fit you could fit in two gnomes per one dwarf 
on, on an aircraft mm. for, for, for like a hot drop or a pair drop. I'd be like, well, at the same time, when they drop down, I have a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have a dwarf. I feel, like, I feel, I feel like they. Okay, there is one thing I will give them. I do feel like they would be amazing engineers, and I would love to see them in. What I was saying was, I do think I would love to see what gnomes could make if they worked at like Skunk Works, or like, you know, what do you call that, Lockheed Martin. Can I would imagine? definitely say gnomes would. I'll, I'll, I'll say gnomes would be non-combat roles for sure. Yeah. If, if I if I was facing an opposite force and had a gnome, I'd be like. You know what gnomes really? would be? What? You know what gnomes would be? What? Runners. Yeah. Well, maybe in an earlier setting, maybe yeah, they could. Yeah. Maybe runners wouldn't be a bad one for them. You know. On but their, again, uh, on their fucking mechanical chicken or some shit. <laughs> uh, I love the Warcraft ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. As I say, all I'm going to say is everything gnomes do good. I feel like goblins just do better. Yeah, I, I, I'm just. I, that's all. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to skip half elves because we've already done yeah. elves. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to skip all half stuff. Yeah, halflings as well. Fucking do you want to do, do, you wanna do halflings? <laughs> well, well, halflings are just hobbits. They're not like. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. pretty much, it's, pretty, it's talking about gnomes as well. You'd rather have a dwarf. Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah. there's not really much we can really add because a lot of the stuff we're just I mean, saying again. I have no doubt that halflings could be pretty good like soldiers, but at the same time, I mean, I'd rather if anything you put you take the halfling and put it in like a dwarf division. Like here, you go in there. Just, yeah, you'd be with your fucking short people. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like you could just take humans or dwarves and you'd be pretty. It'd be better. Yeah, I feel like everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and even then, like you know, okay, people would be like, oh, but they would make great. Skin skates and all this but i just feel like dragoons do a better job so yeah. i can hear the as i i, I, I hear the one like halfling fanboy like how can you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, how dare you yeah they're base what are you talking about they're lucky <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. no no bro let me tell you halflings they, they'd be in they'd be serving alongside dwarves and probably what you wouldn't even be able to tell the fucking things apart yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, humans, I don't think we're going to bother covering them. No, it's Modern Warfare. No. Um, go, go watch the news right, come on. if you want that. Yeah. Go, go watch the news. Go watch the news. There you go. You'll be happy. Watch any documentary. There you go. This one would be an interesting one now. Teeth gun. Teeth Now, the thing is, t- now, okay, everyone knows teeth gun. <laughs> we're comp. Yeah, I know. I actually do kind of like teeth guns, but like, you know. Like, I don't know the, why you like teeth guns. Like the player base are cringe the <laughs> least themselves are not unlike gnomes and like gnomes are cringe but I don't think people that play gnomes are cringe I've but never encountered does... anybody who's actually sat down with a character who sheet and be like you know what I'm going to play a fucking gnome <laughs> <laughs> I've never encountered a, lo- a, lot of the time, a lot of the time it's just for the intelligence booster yeah. if I be completely I, I think a lot of the time they are just doing it for that the same but when it comes to tieflings it's just one of those things like I mean, well, here, here, with charisma, they might be ideal diplomats, but at the same time, people aren't going to trust a half demon very much. So I don't mm-hmm. know if it's going to convey very, very well. Yeah. What do you call that? that like, what do you call them bands in the mar- Like you know, stars and stripes and all that. Oh, you, the fucking military bands. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe put them in one of them. No, put the gnomes in the military bands. Oh, that would, yeah. Actually, that would be way more fun. Yeah. 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 Okay, you know what? Four bands on one, we can fit four bands on one Cessna. It works just fine. <laughs> you, know. you know what? Actually, we're gonna Teethlins are not gonna be Teethlins are gonna be like you know like World War Two bombers. You know whenever you put like you know you paint like a woman on the front. Yes. Yeah. Just drop them. So, like, no, but you know, don't strap them. I'm yeah. saying like they'll be used as like mascots. Maybe I don't right. know. Oh, I was thinking more of like. The mermaids at the front of ships and stuff. Just <laughs> out of the plane. No, we would we would torture teeth with that badly. S- saying, no, I, you I, wouldn't. <laughs> saying it's not the horns that would be the main drawback of teeth. It, it'd be the tail that would draw back tieflings. Because mm. if you're in a, if you're in a tank or an APC or an aircraft or a helicopter or in the battlefield, you got this fucking tail whipping around. Get them to tuck it like a drag queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get them yeah. Tuck yeah it. Actually, maybe like that, that would be <laughs> salty butt shit up. Yeah. Like, Unless tieflings dock their tails for military service, I mean, it's, 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 it's going to catch shrapnel, it's, it's going to catch mud, it's going to catch just all kinds of shit in the field. It's going to get, you I mean, you're, you're like a, like an Abram, and your tail gets caught, and you get blood all over your fucking, your auspexes, and your, and your fucking your fucking screens, uh, you're, you're, and your fucking driver's like, what the fuck's going on back there? There's blood pouring down the fucking stairs. <laughs> Like what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. yeah. But like, I, I, I would say tieflings would be a liability in anything but infantry. Cause, yeah. You know, because your fucking giant, stupid, look at me, I'm unique tails and get all the, go get in the fucking way. 
Because I mean, like, even uh, the Vale Riders, the, the Brimtush have horns, but there aren't any fucking tails because that's fucking stupid. But what about the neon hair? <laughs> like, what about, like, you know, we've got Katita yeah, and you neon hair. Call, right? So, like, you, you know, know that, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like they need bright, the high vis hair. Like, what about the. Like, like, a bright blue or bright red fucking tiefling in the fucking brush was it like why is there a giant red face oh what the fuck the tiefling yeah. you know actually you know I, I'm gonna go out there I do think maybe tieflings could make possibly decent for the navy just because oh navy like, you know, yeah, yeah, I yeah you maybe know. maybe in the navy because I'm gonna say it I'm gonna think that okay boys in the navy wearing camo you fall off the ship at least you can like, come on here get, 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 we should yeah. like, we should go like put these guys on high vis yeah like the dangers yeah. of people in the Navy getting shot at or whatever is outweighs you know, actually I will see, see the one fact of those, one of those one of things you know the <coughs> the big ships that use oh, the, like the aircraft hangar yeah, yeah yeah on a boat oh carriers and yeah. Use, yeah use them <laughs> use tieflings to direct the planes over there <laughs> <laughs> alright okay that's I that mean, your perfect I, job I, I, I guess in a way a bright red tiefling would be make good crew for, for a carrier because you can definitely fucking see them they're bright fucking yeah. red <laughs> Yeah, well, that's something good for them. Uh, Bar that, teeth guns, no, not useful at all, really. Let's be serious. So let's move on, will we? So, um, stay, so tieflings can stay in the navy. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, they've got their own. That, that, that's why. That's where we're gonna pit them. So next up, our cockler. I actually think they'd be really good, but I do think birds with having like having thin bones. Yeah. And being, I, I feel oh, like yeah. birds just are like not, they're not even not, like not good boss. Even if they're here. See, it's like, it's like, like even if an air, air, air cock or a war armor, like a ballistic vest, if you get caught in the chest, it's going to crack so many yeah. fucking bones in that bird. Yeah. I just, well, like, I mean, what I'm, would like, they actually be useful for, though? Well, Especially I, in scouting. Water, modern, yeah, I think a scout would be great. I do But think, are they better than a drone? Mm, because then you're sending ones that get killed. Where yeah. Well, yeah. They're, 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 I, I would say they're I would say they're, I would say they're probably quieter than a drone, and they're able they're to stay cheaper. out longer. Uh, because drones have gas or battery power, and air, and, and, and air cocker needs an MRE. You, know, mm. they, you use you a lot of satellite a while. images and stuff nowadays, anyway. What do you, you could, use yeah. a lot of satellite but like, images mm. and stuff. So. But like, say, like, 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 say, trying to track like enemy movement <sighs> or trying to be an artillery spotter or or like something like that. I mean, they'd be good for that role, like cap scouts, mm. really. But again, I feel like flying infantry. I mean, shooting birds isn't that hard. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you know, when you something's up in the air. I feel like, you know... Uh, I do believe that double lock butt shock and bird shot would be a bit of a pest for an air cock. Yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 like, I do like the idea. I do like the idea of uh, parachute regiments, but you can go back up in the air. I do love that idea, but I feel like everything oh, yeah. that our conquer have that make them be able to fly with their thin bones and all that type of stuff, I feel like doesn't lend itself very well. They aren't, fair to say. aren't uh, air cock are quite large, too. Yeah, they are. They're pretty big. Because harpies are small, you know. They yeah. can... Well, what's their fly speed? How fast can they go? I, I don't know. I would, I would like to think that they would go like some speed. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me actually get them I up wouldn't here. say they would go that fast because they are, like, bigger. I would say that they would be a good, like, quick reaction force. Because, you know, so say you want to react to an ambush. Or, or, like, so, or, or, someone's, or, or someone's calling calling for, for support. To get a bird going, you gotta get the bird up and running. You know, you gotta get everyone mm -hmm. like an air cocker platoon could take off immediately and go assist defending an ambush. Yeah. I, mean, I would say that that's I would say they're good for like rapid response, but they can't yeah. but they can't yeah. sustain. Yeah. So they would make excellent medics. Per, 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 medics or evacs? Yeah, I can say that. But they couldn't like carry much though. Well, they can carry they? one at a time. Yeah. yeah, plenty of them. They're quicker than trying to land a helicopter. One of the things one guy brought up, which I thought was very interesting, that made me reevaluate my idea about dragons, was he said that you're thinking that the technology wouldn't also advance with dragons, as if like you know maybe <laughs> you would, like put like a laser defense system on the back of a dragon. You know what I mean? <laughs> so maybe you could make like. A Chinook out of uh, a couple of Arcopnes. You know what I mean? Maybe they'll be like, you know, some form of stretcher type device, maybe. Could we could we work with that? I don't know. Or mm. one of them things that, like, the Coast Guard use. What? They're like a big stretcher, but get Oh, bigger. yeah. You know, like, carry it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen that video of your woman that's fucking spinning? I know. Oh, God, that was desperate. I can't show the video for obvious reasons, but I'm sure you can get good easily enough. Uh, Gansey, I think, will we skip them, will we? Yeah. Yeah, no one cares about Gansey. Goliaths. Gnazi or, 
I don't know why they even added Ganazi. I don't know yeah. why. Because they're, they're so rare to like, grab a player view one. Say? Okay. I, I can never say them because I've never actually met someone that actually plays one. So, uh, yeah, there I've you go. I've played them before. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just. Uh, not for but, me. But Goliaths would, Goliath would be definitely infantry. Like, mm-hmm. like mortarmen, yeah. artillerymen. Oh, yeah. Um, heavy machine gunners. Like, a Goliath yeah. could probably. Shoulder fire, fucking M two, no problem. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, 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 what's that? Uh, we'll, we'll be me and Meg were watching Word of Word not that long ago, and uh, your wee fell asked like, "Can you get me the gun of Gambo?" <laughs> you know. I feel, I feel like a Goliath kid, one hand, the gun of Gambo. I feel like, but, pretty, uh, but like, a, a Goliath could probably wear a shitload of armor as well mm. and be an awesome like frontal shock trooper or a good point mm. man because they probably, they probably wear a full EOD suit and like mm. not even be bothered by it. I, th- I feel like Goliath so, would be great for SWAT. Do what? I think they oh, would SWAT, be. SWAT, yeah. I, th- I think they would do oh, good a, for that. A, and police. a fucking door knocker? Yeah. The, yeah. The big ass fucking Goliath foot <laughs> in the door? Yeah. yeah. Think about it. Yeah. I, th- I, I, I do like that idea. I do. I do like that. Um, yeah, across the board, I could see Goliath being worthwhile. The only thing that brings them down is their height, I feel like. I, because that's what. Yeah. <laughs> it's very hard know. to hide, hide a Goliath. Yeah. I feel like taking cover and all that jazz. Would be the biggest. I mean, you get back. these two, these two mountain of butt cheeks up in the air, talking. like you know. But everything else is pretty good for them. Like, the, oh, yeah. I would say, like, there's not much else. And like, I know of at least several like infantry commanders who would fucking cream their shorts for to just like Goliath grunts to go out and do <laughs> yeah. <heavy> shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, yo, guys, do you want to lift this first? Sway, <laughs> sway. Um, do you want to do ASMR? Or do you want no, to skip Azimar? Yeah. A- Azimar, like just as it like guards opinion on, on Azimar, they shouldn't be a race in the game because nah, most be. most DMs don't have the NPCs react to Azimars. Like this is a this is basically a demigod. You're allowing players to play mm-hmm. a demigod, and rarely ever are they ever played that or even react that that general degree. Yeah. A lot of folks play Azimar and like, oh, I'm just super special. It's like. Squirt. <laughs> I feel like Azimar. The only way you could use him is like a DM player character, and even then, oh my don't god, make, this plane. Don't make. Well, here, Garb who suffers from not living beside an airfield, sure he gets oh, away worse than us. Um, Do what? You get the our, our could just got a big noisy plane going by the door. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Um. I feel like, but then again, as I say, DM player characters kind of cringe. Don't bother with them. Yeah, we'll just skip Azamar. Bugbear. I think Bugbear actually be pretty good, except yeah, they're lazy as fuck. Good. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing. I don't know why, but I can see Bugbear being like awesome fucking MPs. Mm. <laughs> yeah. them big no bar arms. fights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that. No, I, 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 I feel like Bugbear. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can see them perfectly fine. The only b- bad thing is their laziness. Mm-hmm. Like you know, they are well renowned lazy bastards. So. So you're saying they're engineers? Got you. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, actually, that yeah, the engineers might be better off. Okay, next I mean, up. Oh no, you go for. For, for, well, same bugbears would actually be good as just because like they're very quiet. I guess they'd be mm. spec ops, but same time like rangers. But they're so fucking huge, yeah. it's really hard to place them. It's what's why like why like like an MP like a bugbear goes stop that. You're like all right, cool. Mm. Yeah, I feel, I feel like they would be ideal for that in that manner. Okay, now are we gonna do the modern furballs or are we gonna talk about old? Furbolgs. Furbolgs would just be hero core. They, they'd be medical. They'd be dentists. They'd be fucking. Yeah. You know, they, 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 these guys are not the the newer old ones are not really. Well, I guess the old ones kind of would be, but the new ones aren't really frontline combat. Yeah. Honestly, they cut they they cut the shit out of furbolgs. Yeah, I'm not, I, I don't even want to talk about them. To be honest with you, it just makes me sad anytime I think about them. Like it's really you, 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 you know, like the they, meme did, with like the guy who has like the mask on. He's like crying underneath. That's furball. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, yes. Like, do they really have to get like the artwork for five A for them? It's just that big red nose and all. It just makes them look so gimpy. It does. It really makes them look very. Oh no, let's just oh, keep going. Oh. Like next up, goblins. That's what I'm on about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said See, are- I, l- I love that. There's actually a, a, a comment that says, "Who needs child soldiers when you could just give goblins AKs?" I'm like, yeah. <laughs> honestly, it's the same, <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's the same thing. Genuinely, same thing. I do think, honestly, goblins—they're not organized at all. I don't think they should be used and even try to organize them. I do like the idea of using them as like paramilitary or a partisan forces, mm-hmm. and you just kind of like supply them. And it's kind of like, okay, what 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 the CIA, CIA does in the Middle East anyway. 
Well, see, well, as I was saying, oh, yeah, was, but I, can't say, I can't say anyone's names for obvious reasons. Well, saying they, they could be CIA or FBI spook, like like spook access. Like, okay, we got a whole platoon of goblins. Drop them here. Here's a AKs. Boys, go do it. You know, and it yeah. just cause absolute havoc. Because yes. goblins, I think, just and as like a um, just as a race, they're all about being like this little shits. So if, yeah. you need some, so if you need chaos or distraction, you go, you just go, okay, well, I guess we'll just release the goblins. And like this little uh, ramp comes like, down, they're like, scattering out. It's just like you scatter them. It's like leave, put them toddlers in like a candy store. They just yeah. Them <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why like strap death packs to them. Honestly, I never really like that to be serious. Death- goblins <laughs> are the most worth. I consider them chickens. Like yeah. the way, Chickens. the way, the way. Like, <laughs> look, how many laughter, chicken? How many? Fucking... How many chicken nuggets do you get out of a chicken? <laughs> you don't really get that many, do you? And how much does it cost for chicken nuggets? And how much does it cost to even buy a full chicken? I, me and Meg were in the They're shop. Pretty dispendable. Like... I, it was four pound for one chicken. I was like, "Fuck me, four pound? That's a lot." It is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not even joking. I used to buy a full chicken for like one pound fifty. Like, yeah. Like and that is nothing. Like that to be serious. Like chickens are the most worthless animals. Like what are you trying to get out? <laughs> but they, but, but yeah. they make eggs though. They make eggs and eat bugs. Yeah. Well, they're handy. Like don't get me wrong. They're not. They are handy, but they are seen as worthless. I'm no pen four pound for a fucking chicken. chicken. It feels very extortionate <laughs> to me, if I be honest with you. It's very extortionist. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to put goblins in the same category as chickens when it comes to yeah. just expendability. No one really cares. No one really gets... It's like whenever you hear about uh, oh, some tragedy happened on the other side of the world, it's like, uh no one really cares about them all that much because... <laughs> A whole company of goblins died. Oh, oh no! no. It was, it was like, like, oh no. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You got to What's be serious. What's for tea? <laughs> What's for tea? <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up, hobgoblins. Pretty good. I mean, hobgoblins have evolved a lot from the hobgoblins I knew back in the mm. '90s and early 2000s. But I yeah. guess if these these quote unquote new hobgoblins, they'd be basically every role in the army of or army military air force they just mm, kind of yeah. plug into place yeah because more or less they're, 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 more, they're more or less like mongols in the fucking D universe mm. they're all about you know like honor and, blah, 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 yeah. and they, they, like, they decided you know what <clears throat> we need klingons we don't got any klingons, klingons. <laughs> do you want to just do you want to just make a knockoff klingon please <laughs> sweet there we go Hobgoblin. So <clears throat> I, I would call Hobgoblin like just just a, just like kind of like humans and elves. This kind of fit in wherever they want, really. Yeah, definitely. All right, next up, Ken, Kenku. Honestly, Kenku. Worthless. Fuck them. Oh, really? You think so? You got Kenku. They're they're a gimmick. They're a fucking what gimmick. What Kenku again? They're the birds. That can't Kenku are flightless bird over. people. <laughs> <laughs> and they can't talk to or they can't they, they cannot so develop skexes? yeah well not e- they're not even crafty like skexes they, they can't form original thought they can't form original like words or anything they pretty much have to copy everything um it's really bad See, I don't think <gasps> they do well in an organized military of, of any kind they may be spies. like good like saboteurs but like spies and saboteurs but I'll, 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 I'll think they would fit in like rank and file military like a cult they wouldn't fit as well as say like a like a, a hobgoblin or a human or, or an nah. elf they'd just be like more like a extremely specialized shit stirs like assassins or saboteurs you know what they would be great yeah. for oh shit yeah. we need to remember this exact code or this key phrase that's your job you need to remember something you get the kenku to do it <laughs> That's exactly that's all it is because that's all they can fucking do. Honestly, they're gimmicky as fuck. I so can it's be like a pirate. Them. You say enough things in the movie. Yeah, it's but it's really annoying and it's just I don't know. I yeah. just feel like because they're based on Tingu, which are like a it's, it's like a Japanese like folklore mm. thing. Yeah, but I guess in but in D and D they are heavily neutered because they gave them like so many drawbacks. Like well, I want to play this. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like if they didn't have that whole gimmicky thing, I, I'd, I'd be fine with them. But that's kind of the whole thing, isn't it? So. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, you can just write Sorry, something down on your phone. If you want, if you want, to, if you want to remember something, just write it down. <laughs> if you got pen and paper, it's probably going to beat like a thank you. <laughs> yeah. Let's be serious. Right, you ready for the next one? Mm. Kobolds. Kobolds. You feel them? Uh, <laughs> well, Kobolds. They, they they fall into that same like lizard problem, and they're not exactly the bravest of, yeah. of the D&D races. I feel like goblins I mean, are at least more willing to throw their lives away doing stupid shit. <laughs> so oh, I feel not, like... It's not so much willing, it's just they are stupid. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they'll get themselves into situations and they like, eh, fuck it, okay, yeah. let's go with them. I think kobolds are a bit more skittish. 
Yeah. And I don't yeah. think they're like suited to honestly they'll just run away. Because they fall in the same the same problem as most reptilian races, but I think if they like just stay in like scout roles, they mm. they, 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 they I mean there are roles in, in the military for them, sure, but I don't know if they have the right mentality for military service. Yeah. Like <clears throat> like like one motor round, the whole fucking company just scatters, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, nope, we're out. Yeah, it, 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 it would infect them, and they would all just, yeah, it, it wouldn't work well for them at all. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Okay, next up, I mean, Lizard Folk. Oh, no, do you want to keep going? Oh, you, no, no, you're fine. Uh, lizard Folk, I mean, like, like I, I said on Dragonborn, they're lizards, and they'd be extreme, like, they'd be great shock troop and specialized troop, but only mm. for certain areas. I feel like they would be the ultimate, the ultimate mercenaries for the Middle East, because like you know, well, they, it's their lack of, it's not, it's their lizard <clears throat> mentality and just like you know, war crimes never hurt you, you know what I mean? And also the well, whole, we're we're like, if it's a desert, it's like if it's like a dry climate lizard folk, then yeah, because mm. they be able to venture out when most other humanoids couldn't, for sure, mm. and they also are absolute bastards. So like, yeah, a lizard folk contingent. You know, well, 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 it's like a, like a PMC group or or actually sanctioned school, like platoon mm. could go in and murder all these folks, then eat them and leave no fucking like evidence behind like, what happened. I feel like the ultimate warlord would be an elf being the warlord, and he's just hired a ton of lizard folk, and you would get the worst of the worst atrocities yeah. ever. Well, it's saying like lizard folk, they seem. I mean, just based off reptilian mannerisms, they seem like they would be very morally ambiguous. Like, well, yeah. it pays. You know? Yeah, pretty much. I, I think they would be decent. I think I think you would see a lot more of them than people would think, for the most part. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where if you need someone who could do a job that most other races couldn't, you could just do lizard folk. Because lizard folk, I mean, they're gonna go in and slaughter an entire village and go, eh, what's for lunch? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're not they're not gonna question it very much. Orcs, I think orcs, orcs. are good. The only thing really driving them down is their intelligence. Yeah, that is the only thing. Bar that, I think they're perfect. Bar their intelligence. <laughs> um, unfortunately, orcs would be like the guys who sign up for like infantry and are like happy about it. Like, yeah, I'm infantry. Like, yes, you are. Get, like, <laughs> you, you get all the crayons and all and all the elements glue you're gonna need. Like, I, I, it's really hard. To, I don't think all orcs would be dumb. But I think no, the not all. less the let. I, I think the less smart, less smart orcs would be like. Marines or like semi infantry. <laughs> like, me hold gun, me go bang bang. Like, yes, you do. Is, Get out there, do your job, buddy. What is it with fucking Marines? Anytime I talk to anyone, in the, in, like especially American Army, it's either it's it's either they're in it and they're fucking live for it, or everyone's like, oh fuck, my god, not these dickheads again. Yeah, like like orcs would be the guy who marries a stripper and buys a car, hiding oh, like a high yes. interest. Yes, it would be that's a, exactly. A, 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 like command would hate them because they're always a pain in the ass. Like, why'd you get drunk on a Tuesday? Wreck your car, orc go. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> ugh. But mm. at the same time, they're they're so needed because you 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 need. I mean, any any military needs that dumb dude here. Hold the rifle. Go go yeah. go. Charge that point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can they, see they, that. They, they, they probably follow orders quite well and, and be good in close quarter combat. But when it comes to like smart th- orc de- decisions, mm. nah. Why go? I, I, I think <laughs> the biggest problem with orcs is they with orcs. I I feel like it's all about leadership with them, and they need to have yeah. a strong leader. So if they don't have like if if the army doesn't have like excellent mid to low level leadership, they're useless. But I think I think mm. if they do have that, then they're amazing. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, mm. and I would not trust an orc to pilot a fucking thing. <laughs> no, no, not a chance. Not a fucking chance. But I do think you- they could get shot in the face and actually probably survive it. Do what? I think oh, they yeah. could get. I th- I, th- I think they could take. I think they could take a bit of a bottom, you know. I, oh, yeah. I feel like yeah. I feel the like of their head I feel skulls. like they're I feel like they've got that built-in crash helmet where yeah. it seems to me that orcs and Goliaths would be best friends in the military. Just mm. you know, the, 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 the two hulking figures who do all the heavy lifting. But I think Goliaths would find like, man, you are simple <laughs> as shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. Orcs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what you know, the glass would always be like, leading some fucking like meditations by Marcus Aurelius <laughs> or some shit yeah. about stoicism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, next up, Tabaxi. I think Tabaxi would be ideal, but again, they would have to be very niche goals. Yeah. Well, niche goals. Aren't well, are, 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 are Tabaxi like super like dubious and are kind of like yeah. two faced in D and D? I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm sure like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be shocked if I peered through the clouds of like you know interdimensional wavelengths and saw 
a D and D army with like a few sprinklings of tabaxi. But I think it'd, be, it'd take a very certain, certain-minded tabaxi to go. You know what? I don't be part of a unit because, as far as I'm aware of, all through the lore, tabaxis were usually loners, weren't they? Mm. <clears throat> I don't I know mean, how well. If you want, Can you not use them as like? I think they'd be good for scouts because they have the feline aspect to yeah. them, and they can stay low, stay hidden. Maybe like some form of like maybe because, spec because ops they are a kit. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like, if you think about it though. Like I, all I'm saying is, I consider cats to be almost perfect predators because, like you know, like you put them in any part of the world, and it's like everyone's like, oh, think of the birds. It's like fuck birds, cats, beast, <laughs> birds, meh. <laughs> Cats based, birds not based. Yeah, well, it depends. <laughs> no some, like bir- some, some, some birds are, but like honestly, see seagulls and pigeons. No, nah, I got no, I got no time for them. Could all you the imagine like called. seagull harpy girls? Ugh. Oh Jesus Christ! They would be the big. No, they would all be from like Blackpool. They'd all have like harsh, harsh English accents. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me they wouldn't. They would have the worst of the worst, like Blackpool yeah. or like Hull or Bolton. No, no. You know what? Actually, I would think. Of, I, would, Peter I, I, I would give them. I would actually give them Newcastle accents. Oh, Geordie accents. Yeah, yeah, like a Geordie accent. I think that would work yeah. well for them. Hey yeah. guys, uh, you guys got any chips? Get those chips, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking eat seagulls, honestly. Oh, horrible <laughs> creatures. They really are. Anyone that says, "Oh no, I like seagulls," you haven't interacted with seagulls enough. You just you just don't know them well enough. Uh, so what right. the fuck? So what the fuck's a triton? Is this uh, triton new? is it's like a triton is it's a shitty merman, but he doesn't have mer legs. Which is basically a blue human. Yeah, he's a shitty merman (laughs) that doesn't have mer legs. Yeah, something like that. You're just a shitty mermaid. (laughs) Well, um, apparently, like, like, okay, put them in a sunbury. You know, one of the interesting things is put them in the navy. I do think one of the more interesting things is see, like, mer people in particularly. How would you go about with a navy of any sorts? Because there'd be fucking yuffing underneath. Yeah, and we're not. Yeah, all of our ships are not. Designed Tritons designed putting on sea mines and shit. Yeah, I feel. Yeah. I feel like, honestly, I feel like um, the and only way. All, I, like, I, I, I feel like. I feel like the mer people would be. Oh, the possible, I, I would say. I would. I would say they would. They, if you want to wage war, you need to be paying them. Yeah. They, you need to. You need to have them on site for you to be even able to operate. Because uh-huh. if you don't have them on site, you're. It's you're yeah. not winning. It's just going to I be could difficult. see Tritons being like sweet, like 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 Sweden, where like, hey, if you don't want your ships fucking explode, you better pay us some gold or some money or like, <laughs> yeah. oil, where the fuck else. Like, I, I would see Tritons not being a part of any military and being extremely secular and like being mm. like, well, if you want to fight the fight Germans, you gotta pay us so your ships don't sink in the sea. You know what I mean? If you see any yeah. U-boats, hey, we'll tell you about them. <laughs> yeah, I but, can see you know, that. Yeah. I, like in, in modern warfare, I would see Tritons as, as like underwater mobsters, like mm. just, just, just just grifting the shit out of out of everybody. Like, well, be a shame if uh, Simai finds his way in front of your ship. They're like, God damn it! They, they would be the ultimate tax man. <laughs> no, not a tax. What is it? Like a loan shark kind of? Oh yeah, loan definitely. shark. Ah, oh, loan shark. Ah. <clears throat> oh, loan oh, shark. Ah, ah, I didn't even think about uh, that. <laughs> I see what you did there. A war uh, shark. Anyway. There you go. So next up, what do you call? I can never say these people's names. The uh, sneak people. Shuan Ch- Ch- T. Yeah. Honestly, just put them down as spies. Ultimate well, spies. Ser- serpent creatures. I'm not sure how well they would do in regular because their body's a giant fucking tail. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know how that would how that would do. But they morph um, in a night. Sure. They put on they put on like disguises and stuff. So like you know they go in and out of there. Um, oh, do they? Yeah, they. I think they've got like a human form, and then they've got like that half snake form. That they, they can go in and out. Of course they do. Or my of course they do. Or am I, uh, or am I thinking of Conan the Barbarian? <laughs> <laughs> like, either way, <laughs> like, all I'm saying, like all I'm saying is, I think they would make excellent um, honey pots. Yeah, they'd be the ultimate honey pot Ma- weapon yeah. of choice. Yeah. Oh, uh, did you say honey pots? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you know, what what like, well, fuck? like you know, like you know, like one of those spy network things. You yeah. know, like one of those, like oh yeah, we're gonna get all the, we're gonna go, like <laughs> you know what they are? They they are the ultimate high end escorts for uh-huh. officers uh-huh. that may or may not that be double agents. And also uh, look through documents whenever um, they pass. Uh-huh, Aha! You yeah. flicked a snake. Now give me your secrets. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I could definitely see that. Now you got STD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not sure in STD. 
I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what role Wan T would really fill because they, they, I don't think they would be in the army. I, no. I they're, 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 they're so niche. Like I'm not I, sure what, how they, what they would do. They're, they're, they're too niche, and there's not that many of them, and they're too individualistic. Once again, for the you army. never really hear people playing. No, I, but a lot of DMs just won't let you because yeah. they're down to evil. Uh, but people, yeah, but, but they'll let, like you know, they're. People play Dragai, but that's because Dragai are more common, and like, mm. it just depends on the DM. Really. Yeah. Like, you know, it's one of those more unusual races. What one will we go for next? Uh, Turtle or Turtle. I just call them Turtles because I don't really give a fuck. Turtle people. <laughs> I mean, Turtle. Turtle. I think they'd be, I mean. <laughs> I, I, get, I, I, I What the fuck well, do you well, do with them? Like? Well, like, you know, look, they're pretty tough. They've got a lot of strength. They're high in wisdom. I feel like anything with high wisdom isn't going to join the army, though. That's the only problem. But, like, <laughs> like maybe tech What a dick. Even then, like, I'd like to join your military. <laughs> Bitch, oh, man, how the fuck can you get through my damn door? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, 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 sideways? I, I, I think maybe, again, Special Forces of the Sea, possibly. That would be about it. I, yeah. um, I, I, I feel I like it's too slow. I would. I really don't know what other way you would play them. I, do, in a I don't know. Modern warfare. What? Well, I, do, I don't get it. No, I don't think. I don't think. They've, or they've where they I don't think there's a niche for them. Maybe, I feel like maybe. Sarah, hold on. Like, like, maybe, like, <laughs> maybe, like maybe EOD. It's like yeah. maybe like explosives because you got the fucking stupid shell. Like, shell. Maybe that'll yeah. do something. Yeah. All right. Even they, then, they, like it'd be. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they're going, there's going to be someone in the comments that'll give us a very niche answer, but off the top of my head, I can't think of anything for them. Is that one guy in the comments? The, the one guy in the comments? Actually, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, another one, Changelings. I think Changelings would be I've, perfect spies. There's not absolutely. much else. What else do you do with them? Um, I mean, no, 100%. They, they, they could still be regular infantry and do all of the job, but they would excel at like spec yeah. ops and like, yeah. I, I feel like because 100%. because they're too unique and there's not that many of them putting them in an infantry situation is a waste yeah it's, it's an ultimate waste i feel like they're too there um <laughs> using them for there, there's that one channel why the fuck are you living bravo i like guns okay don't don't judge me <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, imagine I, the hell when your 11 bang bang changeling becomes the commanding officer in this makes all these fucked up like <laughs> like decrees <laughs> Like, sir, did you make Tuesday Taco Tuesday? No, who the fuck said that? Well, you did. You signed it too. Like, who the yeah. fuck? <laughs> Johnson. Johnson did this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet changelings would be so angry just for. Oh. Could Could you imagine the trolling a changeling would do in the military? Because I can, and I, and I don't mm. want to see it. Yeah. Like, are you really the major? Fuck. I hope I am. I don't even. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> so, Warforged. I feel like Warforged would be great, but. I feel like they're too expensive to fix. Yeah. I mean, I feel like because they're machines, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, but they also have like roots and all these other shit going on the insides. But I do I mean, feel it'd be, like it'd be, it'd be so odd to make all that all this money in a warforge. And even then, what would say that warforge wouldn't take over the, the entire military complex? I mean, yeah. it's one of those things where are they cost prohibitive? Or are they not cost prohibitive? Or are they easy to make, hard to make? Like it's one of those things where it's, it's like not the really even said question, in the lore, is it? You trust AI? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I, 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 I believe that Warforged at, at, at this moment in time, <laughs> I don't, I, do, I don't think that Warforged will be good enough. But I would like to imagine that Boston Dynamics could make a bang in Warforged. <laughs> yes, they could. I, I feel like give them S stairs well, once, and Skynet. I don't fucking think so. Give us, give us another 30, 40 years, and I think. Maybe Maybe we could, would, get, it could be maybe we could have Warforge genuinely just take over every rule because mm. everything you could give to them, you could be emulated with a Warforge to yeah. some degree, yeah. just to the pieces humans. Because I'm thinking most things cost more to repair than make brand new. Yeah. So, like, imagine like having a company of Warforge or two like broken to be in combat. What do you do with them? What, 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 like the, the logistics behind a Warforge, I could talk all day on that shit. I mean. You got Warforge missing an arm. Well, you gotta make a new Warforge for ten grand, or give you, give you a new arm for eight but grand. But then again, it'd be part. so easy to fuck them over. Like if they are were in the field, just have like a fucking a thing overhead with a massive fucking magnet. Whoop! <laughs> 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 <Awesome. laughs> Whoop! Your Enti entire battalion brought the ruin by a giant red <laughs> horseshoe magnet. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have, they have to be oh, done by. I, I, I guess. I guess actually, there is the threat of uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, of 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 EMPs. Oh, EMPs. Oh, oh, EMPs. Yeah. 
yeah. and knock out an entire Warforge contingent. Mm. Like, oh, say, yeah. like, we, yeah. this is our brand new Warforge battalion is going to change warfare one EMP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Oh, God. I feel like Warforge may become, it would be one of those things in Warfare where it would be like maybe a bit of a gimmicky sort of thing mm. that would be used for like advertisements and be like, oh, check out this new sweet. Like Starship up- Trooper. Yeah, I feel like, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, it would yeah. be like Starship <laughs> Trooper. I feel like that would be used I would way like to more. know more. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that would be used a lot more for advertisements and to get people in and be like, oh, look, Army's the best. We got all these new, the level two Warforged. Like, you know, they're great. They you come this, in and you get that. a 10 bucket to put over your head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think honestly, when it comes to Warforge, it's just how, how, how the cost of running them would be the uh, yeah the problem. I think and fixing them, it would yeah. cost far too much. Yeah, comes actually, my like, favorite part of the show. Here we go, centaurs. Centaur. I'm sorry, like, okay. Go- like, so listen to your say, video. You gosh. seen you said you thought they'd be more hard labor, like pulling carts and all that. But well, I, they would be, I they couldn't. Would, they would have been used yeah. for that, maybe in World War One and World War Two. But I, I honestly think second mechanized warfare really kicks off. I, I just I don't think, think they can hold up. No, I think they're. Well, let me explain why they would. Um, uh, there are places where a, a vehicle cannot go. There are times when a vehicle cannot make the range. Yeah. Centaurs and even, even horses. I mean. They, they they can go almost literally anywhere. It, uh, like really steep, uh, really steep grades on mountains. A vehicle can rarely go. A centaur can just walk up that bitch. I mean, mm-hmm. it's one of those things where right now we don't use horses because it's just intelligence prohibitive. But you gotta what train the horse. So? It, it'd be an issue. <laughs> you gotta find a rider who's trained to use the horse. Are we got we got what? Centaur. But what about a bicycle what? though? A bicycle is a pretty bicycle? off road. Yeah. Put the argument on bicycles, and you, yeah, there you go, then there you go. You don't, you, you don't you, worry about it. What do you do? Be a mess of the forest? <laughs> yeah! You did kickflips and shit. <laughs> Alright, okay, like, all right, you go for it. You, 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 you tell right. us why, why centaurs are right. worthwhile. So, centaurs would be great because they're, they're non motorized, they're quiet. And they're smart. So the reason why we don't use horses today because they're not smart. The panty ass to herd them and ride them. Yeah. If you have the the combination of, of of infantry in a horse body, they can still think for themselves, take orders, use radio. They can operate by themselves. Centaurs are more or less they they they, they would stay as scout and shock cavalry. I mean, you could have a centaur again, kind of like the Aracocra. They could react extremely quickly yeah. to. To like a ambush that's like say say on the radio you got, hey we got ambushed for a regular platoon or company to react to the ambush you gotta get everyone ready get in the vehicle you know drive along the road you can't go you can, you can really go off road mm. a centaur could go from a to b quite quickly directly you, you can go over rough terrain because centaurs can run over sand mm. over gravel and if, if someone's gonna come and go well what their shoes relax they're actually there are sh- boots you can put on a yeah. horse that aren't shoes they, they fully cover the feet um, they're, 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 they're large, so I wouldn't put them on, on a front line fight because, god damn it, they're fucking large. I mean, yeah. centaurs, even in, like, e- 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 even if they were still like human height, like say they're like seven foot tall maximum, eight, uh, six feet tall, mm. they're still really long. There's a lot, lot of body to yeah. hide, so they're not really good for, for gaining cover. So I would use them as literally just scouting, harassment, um, response teams. I mean, you could, you can technically paradrop a centaur. I wouldn't recommend it. No, oh, no. Do it. I, no, we saw, we saw the fucking comment the other day. Someone said, oh, I don't know what you're on about, James. I reckon you can use centaurs as a parachute regiment. Break their Absolutely fucking spine. Not. I don't, I, I'm not seeing a good parachute design for a fucking centaur. And you know what they do to horses with horses big Horses can be dodgy whenever they're landing <laughs> jumps anyway. Imagine fucking falling from the sky. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, I, I'm not, like, par Parshat and centaurs, no. I'm going to put a hard no what? on that. I, I think they do just fine. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I, you, you, you get your horse and fuck it out your second story window and see what happens. <laughs> we'll get, get a bad shape. attached to it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but no, in a modern military, centaurs would still have a I, very I, I, good I niche. I think they've got a niche. I, I, yeah, I can see that. I think they've got a niche. They, they do have a niche. I feel like 
they would have been doomsday weapons like a hundred years ago, two hundred years ago. Um, now I see them as very limited. Mm-hmm. I, f- I feel like they would have been at one point. Mm-hmm. World War One, they would have been good at. Uh, okay. I, well, they would have been good for like you know the first like month. Like yeah. well, that's what we saw what happened. That's what we saw <laughs> well, maybe we they could have been good in the Eastern Front. Maybe I, I could see. I mean, technically, technically. A, 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 a tank force was defeated by cavalry. I mean, yeah, the, so... the, 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 the old World War One tanks, as long as you get beside them, mm. where the sponsons can't get you, you can, to- you can toss on and explosive packages, that kind of stuff. the weight on the back. Yeah. It's them. They can hold a rifle. They can yeah. hold whatever, and just the speed that they have. They, they, like, they do have something going for them. I do think Centaurs do have something. I feel like it was just they would have been the, the best of the best. Put old but I, I, feel, I feel like in Modern Warfare, their role is greatly reduced to what they could have, what they, what they were. If that mm. makes sense, would that be fair? To say? I think their, pe- I, I, I think their peak would have been old-fashioned warfare. But yeah. so, but, but I think, but I think when 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 rifles came about, they had to exchange because kind of like dragoons. They were they're, yeah. they're fast infantry, more or less. Mm. But I think their heyday would have been during the times t- times of lance and barding. But as yeah. modern warfare tracks on, they got they got change hands of being light infantry. Where they, I, would, they, 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 I would say for me, I would al- I would almost put them their best would be like Bronze Age whenever they're using like chariots and shit still. Because like yeah. the the advancements with chariots over the uh, tribal peoples was just insane. Mm. I, I would argue it is, um, but the problem is once you do get hit the Middle Ages, it's more like everyone does still have horses. It was just like at that point, people didn't actually understand how to look after horses or how to look after their feet, mm. and they were like mm-hmm. they were like questions of national security at that point. Whereas by the time you hit the Middle Ages, everyone kind of knew what they were doing. They, like everyone's got a, a, like some form of horse div- horse division. Let's call it. Yeah. Everyone's got some form of mounted soldiery, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, I, I we'll, think, like, well, yeah. c- like on the idea of your chariot thing, if a centaur was 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 okay with pulling a chariot, having two lancers pulling a chariot would be mm. fucking terrifying. Yeah, most definitely. Because to be, be no, like, only the rear would be because usually at the front in regular chariot warfare, there's kind of a safe area because you can take out the horse. Well, if the horse has a fucking stick, it's going to poke you with. You can't really, you know, try to attack it from anywhere but yeah. the rear. Well, I suppose chariots would would have been used. I, I could imagine them kind of like. An alliance setup of like um, okay, so like <coughs> you would have like you know your centaur pulling them, but like you know the kind of work out is like right if we fit like a handful of elves in the back, yeah, we're a lot more effective now. Or gnomes. <laughs> oh yes, actually, you know what? Yeah. Actually, like, genuinely, gnomes gnomes would have been would be yeah. So we've worked it out in Bronze Age Bronze Age warfare, gnomes on chariots pulled by centaurs. <laughs> gnomes on chariots. Perfect. Jesus. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> so we've only got a couple more left, and we're hitting the R mark of this cordon. But I'm going to chop it down. Oh, are we? Shit. I am. Yeah. 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 So uh, we'll, we'll only do two more, and I'm going to go for Loxodon. Now, Loxodon, I do like personally, but I feel like honestly, elephants have been used in warfare before, but they aren't big enough. They're not. You know what I mean? See, I feel like Loxodons will be a bullet sponge in modern yeah, military. Yeah, I, I feel like. Maybe they could have been at one point, but not now. No, Absolutely not now. Not and everything that an elephant does do, like it would, if it's an like, elephant would like be better than a bronze Luxodon or Iron anyway. Age, Loxodon yeah. would be like the best like shock infantry because yeah. it's going and mm-hmm. fucking tusk your shit. But yeah. like, yeah. we're trying to hide a Loxodon during this, or trying to tra- trying to try to, try to transport a Loxodon. You can't fit him in a Humvee. Yeah. You can't fit him in. An MRAP, you can't put him in a Cayman, and you gotta have a, like a specialized deuce and a half to haul around one fucking Loxodon. I mean, they're so fucking big. Yeah, they're just uh, no. I'm not seeing them. I don't see Again, much use for them. I, w- I would only, I would only say engineering, engineering or, or medical. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah, I can see that yeah. definitely, definitely. Right, and then the last one for Minotaur. I can't, I do like Minotaur, so I like Minotaur, and I feel like okay, so they've got a lot of strength, you know. Do, 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 do you know like the uh, that bison dude from the fucking uh, oh what was that fucking movie where it's like Judy Hops? What was no, it called? I'm not sure. No idea. Oh god damn! Hold on, I gotta fucking Google this shit. Like some kind of retard. <laughs> I agree. Type. <laughs> Zootopia. So in Zootopia, oh, there's a giant Zootopia. like like, oh, like, yeah. like 
Oh yeah. The, yeah. There's like that water buffalo chief of of the fucking yeah, PD. Please. Yeah, that'd be like Minotaurs in the military. Just big beefy yes. fuckers that fit. Yeah. They they would fit right alongside orcs and Goliaths and everyone else. Just like I'm here to do a job. Moo. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I feel like though I do feel like a lot of the leases that we have said about that it would be useless would still be worthwhile in non combat roles. I don't think there's Except any. Rules. I can't think of anything that is completely and utterly useless at every level. Except gnomes. Yeah. Uh, well, except no, 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 gnomes, I, I, I want to... Trash. Trash. Look, I want them as engineers. I want them as engineers. What, running about with, like, we, like... Spanners to make friends. Like, I'm sorry, gnomes to me, are, they will uh, they will forever be leprechauns and guardians. Could you imagine, like, a gnome MP trying to pull you over? Why are you going so fast? Slow down! <laughs> yeah. God damn it, that's you again. <laughs> Every fucking time. Every fucking time. Well, I think, well, is that where we're going to lap up them, will we? Yeah. We'll sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll lap up here. So, well, there's any other Good. ones. I, I, I do like these sort of ideas or these, like, you know, these thought experiments, because that's all they are. It's kind of yeah. apply I mean, one definitely in the other. comments, I would say, put down anything else you want to talk about for sure. I mean. Yeah. Because who knows, we might make another one. And also, guys, if you're watching this, you enjoyed what we're talking about, if you enjoyed the last video, go check out Garbo stuff. You, you yes, should have done this a while ago. What like, the fuck are you doing with your life? Yeah, just if you. Yeah, if, guys, I'm over here sweating away with a keyboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all ain't giving me a fucking views. Yeah. All the links also, to his stuff will be down below. Yeah. And it is one of the few books where it touches on, like, memeology and, and like, modern humor. Yeah, mm. I'm, 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 I'm not afraid to like, you know, make some saucy things in the book. I mean, there's only one, already one sex scene in there, so it's something. Oh, actually, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I forget. Wait, there's, there's two it's now. Garp, it's it's Garp, 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 ERP. Fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Everyone knew what y'all like, you know, to, to become a successful author or uh, artist come, these days. You, come, you gotta, find your waifu in the Veil Riders. <laughs> you gotta do the smug. <laughs> also, you know what you need to you need to make a fucking calendar. You need to sell the later's <laughs> calendar. calendar. You do. Yeah, also, you, like, what what month is it today? It's the it's the seventh month. Like, you've got a good few months before 2022. You need to get that calendar up and ready. I'm not even joking. Make, make July, like, the fucking, like, saucy, like, kobold fucking... Yeah. <laughs> Pin up. I, th I think you could do something like that. But, yeah, guys, honestly, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed anything like it, subscribe, check out Guard Blue stuff, check out the models, check out the website. Also, if you like this, let us know, because we might do other stuff like yeah. this. Cause this if you is have a, other th topics this you is want us to different. talk about, yeah. they will do it. <laughs> yeah, because it's a very open-ended question, and I feel like, uh, yeah, I think the only thing we can all agree on is fuck gnomes. Yeah. Fuck gnomes. Fuck tieflings. <laughs> yeah, fuck tieflings. Yeah, that's a bad If you like app. gnomes, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Look, let's be serious. We all know you're only taking a gnome because you want that plus two intelligence. Yeah. There's no other reason. Let's be, let's be serious. It's a min max. And yeah, there's no, absolutely no reason why, why you would play a gnome. Yeah. But look, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye. 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 bye.